believe profoundly in the power of art to transform us. I had my own life transformed by art. To have a profound experience with an original work of art is to come close to understanding what life is all about, who we are, and what makes us tick. Literally, art can transform the way our, we see ourselves, or the way we see the world, our sense of values, our sense of perspective. We were established to serve the needs of our communities for art, but we actually do an awful lot more than that. At this moment in history, we're actually close to 100 years old, which most people, I think, don't realize. We're moving from being focused on service to the members to, I would say, leadership in the field. The premise is to exchange ideas about our programs, our collections, exhibitions, policies, the direction of cultural activity in the United States, and of course to visit collections. As a director of a Canadian organization, it's important for me to have um, access to my colleagues on a regular basis, both in the U.S. and in Mexico, for us to come up with a consensus about um, what our thinking should be around certain issues. Specifically, we've made some accomplishments in establishing and, and communicating standards for the field, particularly in the field of deaccessioning. Deaccessioning is extremely important in several respects. It's a means by which museums build collections. Objects, when they're sold, should be used for, the, uh, for only for other objects. To begin to take objects within a uh, collection like this and to use it to pay for uh, gas and light is, is not, not appropriate. And a lot of people really didn't understand that. Another element of our work uh, of late in, in AMD is making what we do a lot more transparent. One change, for example, is that um, we're going to encourage our museums to all put their deaccession works of art on their own websites like the IMA has done. So the IMA really is a leader in the field. This meeting of AMD in the spring of 2010 is very important because it passed a new strategic plan for the organization. And after having been an association largely dedicated to the professional development of its members, in training directors to be better directors, we're taking a new outward focus. We unanimously decided that art is really the center of what we do, and uh, making art essential to everyone is what drives us all. It's about remembering your audience and what your audience wa wants, not what you think they want. And it's an important reminder for all of us as we try to define how do we bring the masses of people into our museums. So in this wonderful opportunity for me to host all of my colleagues in Indianapolis, the first time we've been here in decades, it's an opportunity to see growth in the campus. So he started pulling out watercolors that they had done of, of ideas of things that they wanted to make someday. And one of them was a watercolor of essentially this. The other thing that's great about these meetings is a chance for spouses and partners to travel and that's always a, a wonderful opportunity for them to connect with each other and see what's going on in the respective campuses and buildings of all the directors. And if you'll notice on the upholstery, the initials of each of the, of the family members are woven into the needlepoint. Welcome. Westerly is the official residence of the IMA and got a head-to-toe renovation in 2006 and we moved in in 2007 and really enjoy it as our home as well as a place for entertaining for the museum. We had fun. I think having them on Segways in White River State Park was really, it was great. And so now we have a new policy. Every spouse program must include one activity in which we have to sign a release form and wear a helmet or else I'm not coming. And that's one of the great things about this association. It's a bunch of great people, good friends, and as, as a group, as an industry, we're growing. The privilege of hosting, in addition to the challenges of the logistics of it, is to make your city known to a group of people, many of whom are new to the association since the last meeting in that city, and to connect your patrons, your collectors, your followers with the leadership of the museum profession. We're very excited to be hosting so many good friends and colleagues coming to Indianapolis.